All right, welcome back to BVRX. My name is Ben. It's late October, that means we've got another month, maybe two months before the snow season really kicks into gear out here in Oregon. What I'm gonna do in this video is demonstrate three exercises to help condition you for the snowboarding season. Basically, everyone knows you get hella sore after the first day of snowboarding, you're sore for perhaps three, four days, but with proper conditioning, you might be able to strengthen your muscles to offset some of that soreness. The first exercise I'm gonna have you do is a sustained squat. So if you imagine you're bombing down the fall line, you're basically in a squat motion the whole, whole ride down. However long it takes you to get down the hill, 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever, however long your run is. So the squat, you're riding down on your snowboard, your legs are sucking up the bumps, trying to keep you in contact with the ground so your edges can help you turn. Um, you can throw in some oscillations, play with the depth of the squat, higher, lower, again bouncing up and down as if you're sucking up the, the bumps and moguls. Now a good goal is to shoot just to begin with 60 seconds, 90 seconds, um, eventually getting up to three minutes, try a couple rounds of those throughout the week, maybe three times a week um, in the coming, the coming months before the, the resort opens. So I'm not going to hold it for the whole time, you guys get the picture. Next exercise is to strengthen the shin muscle is called the anterior tibialis, which help pull your body forward when you're rocking backwards. So you'll notice that your, the front of your shins by your tibia get really sore snowboarding the first couple days. Part of that's the pressure from the boots. But on a long traverse, those little muscles are firing to keep you up off of your edge so you don't tip over. The exercise, you're going to be about 12 inches away from a wall. You're going to let yourself rock back, staying stiff as a board, and then pull forward from those muscles, the anterior tibialis. You're going to rock back, try and keep your toes on the ground, have them pull you forward. Your feet are really trying to suck into the ground. If that's too easy for you, you can hold a weight at your, at your abdomen, but shoot for 100 reps of those a couple times a week to strengthen those little muscles that we don't use very often in terms of weight training. So 100 is a lot, but that's the goal. All right, last exercise. We're going to use our plyo box. Rather than doing just a standard box jump, we're going to do a 180 turn to work on explosive rotational power to help set you up for your 180 or 360, maybe 540 if you got it. So rather than jumping sideways onto it, we're going to jump straight forward and do a 180. Spin back off, other way. Spin back off. Rounds of 10 of those, would be good. All right, so grab the plow box, have some fun. Hope you're tuning in. You can follow some workouts I post on strengthmob.com. Also, hope to connect with you on Twitter at BPMRX, or you can shoot me an email to ben at bpmrx.com. Hope you're well.